Robbie Kendall looking to upset the apple cart. 24 drivers doing battle down the straightaway. Robbie Kendall just shot out of a cannon chase. And he will lead the field down into turn one. Michael Hensley up the racetrack nearly got into the side of Logan CV. He's able to get away from that 21 car as now he's fighting with the 88 car of Trent Ivy. Ivy underneath of Hensley down into three and four. They nearly make contact. Hensley's going to hang on to third for now, but multiple grooves already being displayed here early on in this one, Rick. CV running in that second spot. Ivy running in position number three. Running in fourth is the Hensley machine. Corey Gordon and Finn McKinney in sixth, but he's in a battle with Riggins and the 14 of Tyler Clem. So they're one by one by two by two by two as they head down that long back stretch into three. On the throttle, we're back underway. It would be a surprise considering he has not won a heat. He has not won a last chance showdown. He has not gotten a top five in Horton Buildings features so far in three weeks. Robbie Kendall, this would be huge for him, but now he's got the little head knocker to the outside. Trent Ivey going to work on Robbie Kendall as they battle in turn number three. And there's Corey Gordon going to the inside of CV. Gordon's got a good line down low. A Hornet's nest behind the leaders, and it's Trent Ivey, now your new leader. Trent Ivey leads lap number seven. And it's going to be tough for these guys to get by that 88 car. When he gets out front, he is very good in that DirtVision.com number 88 machine. Great battle for second. It's still Robbie Kendall, then Logan Seavey. Here comes Corey Gordon on the bottom of the speedway through three and four. This time by lap number seven goes to look side by side for third between Gordon and Seavey. McKinney running in the number six spot, so he's within striking distance as he closes in on time. Both track down Trent Ivey, so not sure if Ivey might be saving this stuff here, Rick, or if he's slow three wide for the race lead, three for contact for second. Give the spot to Corey Gordon. Corey Gordon's been on the bottom. That was his lane, and there was no way Kendall was going to take it away from him. So now Gordon says second isn't good enough. I want a shot at the lead. So the two youngsters will go after each other down the back stretch and into turn number three. Trent Ivey showing the way. Corey Gordon in the second spot. Robbie Kendall starting to get comfortable now in that third position, keeping pace with Corey Gordon. Oh, that time a bobble by Ivey as they come down the front stretch. Ivey gets in the Gordon, but Gordon will take the lead into one. Corey Gordon has been the star. They are going to the nail for the race lead here. Still a lot of laps to go. We're only 14 into this thing, 36 laps to go. And this has been nothing but a show so far in this one tonight at Williams Grove. Corey Gordon back on the hammer. He gets a fantastic restart there, Rick, and pulls away. Corey Gordon got a bite like no other, but Robbie Kendall was actually the one that was motoring up on his rear deck lid. He just went into turn one way too hot, and that forced Trent Ivey's hand. Ivey had to get on the binders. Now, Ivey, a little bit of a love tap, if you will, a shot to the shorts of Kendall. Kendall just paid a huge price. Tank slap there off a of turn four. No harm, no foul. McKinney maintains third. He's got Ivey on his back bumper. Ivey with the slider down in the corner. Trent Ivey back to third momentarily. Ivey did the slide job. McKinney allowed him to go across the nose. Now McKinney will attack from the bottom, but Trent Ivey a little bit more momentum. Now all of a sudden McKinney has the momentum. He'll slide up into the door area of the 88. They don't touch. Great job of driving by both cars. Trent Ivey, high side momentum has gotten the spot for now, but here comes McKinney back to the inside. Slide job as they work their way out of the corner. Mike McKinney, Trent Ivey doing battle down that back stretch. McKinney right now in the podium position. It's getting exciting. And now McKinney will block the line from the attempted slide job of Trent Ivey. Now McKinney bounces off the fence. Ivey rolls the bottom, pulls up next to him, reclaims that. Oh! McKinney gets turned by CV, continues on. Fourth, and Trent Ivey in fifth as Gordon works down to the white cloth. The white flag is in the air for Corey Gordon into turns one and two. Final time around this famous half mile here in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. The Beer Hill Gang is standing on their feet in turn number three. They're saluting him with the Bud Lights as he works his way through that third corner. Out of turn number four, night number four of the iRacing Pro Invitational will go to Corey Flash Gordon as he wins here at Williams Grove.